Hi, I'm Chris Billiard, Department Head for Biomedical Engineering. I want to talk to you for a minute or two about biomedical engineering in general. Biomedical engineers work with cutting edge technologies to tackle the grand challenges that define the human experience. They advance human health, engineer better medicines, create the tools of innovation and scientific discovery, and harness the power of biological processes to aid our planet. From the prostheses that help our grandparents to stay mobile, the MRI that tells us whether we can play in the big next game, and the ventilator that keeps COVID-19 patients alive. The products developed by bioengineers fit seamlessly into our modern everyday lives. By designing solutions to problems at the interface of biology, medicine, and engineering, biomedical engineers harness their own creativity to shape the world of tomorrow. They have the vision to see the world beyond as it is today in order to see and create something new. Some biomedical engineers design innovative tools and devices such as the prosthetics you see in this figure, the stents, imaging modalities, imaging machines like MRI there to aid in medical care. Others work to improve processes of healthcare through new drug therapies and uh, drug, drug delivery, analysis of the human genome and rehabilitation protocols. Bioengineers also study electrical, mechanical, and biochemical signals created by organs such as the heart and brain and from single cells on petri dishes, like these behind me here. This is a bunch of cells stained, so you can see the nuclei in blue and the cytoskeleton in green, and that's from my own lab. And they do this, we do this to understand body functions and how biological systems work, basic science. Many build artificial organs, limbs, valves to replace failing tissues, and increasing these replacements are engineered from living cells and proteins so they may grow and adapt with the patient. Tissue engineering and regeneration medicine are uh, special focuses at WPI. Others build low cost ventilators and design effective respirator masks and shields to protect those on the front line of pandemics like the one we're going through right now. There's a picture there of a, of a respirator there or a ventilator there. People go into a range of fields of employment in bioengineering. Uh, most from WPI will go into research and development or medical equipment manufacturing or go on to graduate school, masters or PhDs. The salaries for biomedical engineering are quite high. You can see an R&D over $100,000 as average. I encourage you to go to the AIMB site, A-I-M-B-E, uh, and look at the Navigate tools there and you can look at these and other uh, piece of data. And the growth rate of biomedical engineering is quite high. It has been for some time. And these are for 2017 numbers. And you'll notice that Massachusetts is one of the powerhouses of biomedical engineering. Many of the jobs and our students go to any of these jobs here on the right, uh, like Boston Scientific, Hologic are both 20 minutes away from us, their headquarters. Also GE Healthcare is there, Phillips less than an hour away, Genzyme less than an hour away, Johnson & Johnson about an hour away. Uh, so many of these, our students go to these local companies uh, and uh, find great jobs. If you have other questions, please feel free to reach out to us. Again, thank you for listening um, and have a great time and stay safe.